Now we're gonna walk through the set of changes in this script versus our last script individually, but at a glance here you see that we have a number of different resources. Instead of just having the one test.php file, we have an index.php file, a functions.inc file, and then we have two folders. The steps folder just includes some files that we're going to use as we make further improvements to our script, but the locations folder is an essential part of our new application. And if I expand this, you see that we have a file for each location now. We have garden, house, pond, and yard. Let's go ahead and open up our index.php file and take a quick look. So you can see here that the file is significantly smaller than our test.php file from our last example. In this first line, we're including the functions.inc file, which we'll walk through in just a moment. Now, up until this point, we've been dealing with .php files. This is the first time that you've seen a .inc file in this series. When we include a .inc file like this, it runs it just like a .php file. But the difference between .inc and .php is that when somebody navigates to the file directly in a browser, a .inc file will render as plain text, whereas a .php file will run like a PHP file. Let's go ahead and look at this in action. I'm gonna to jump to the browser, and instead of index.php, let's go ahead and type in functions.inc. Now, when we load this page in the browser, you see all of this text display here. Now, the benefit to doing this is if we have PHP code in this file, then we don't want people to execute themselves. We wanna be in control of when it executes. By saving it as a .inc file, we prevent anybody from executing the PHP in it. But the downside of doing this is that now people can easily look at the code, whereas a .php file, you wouldn't be able to see any of the actual code, it would just run. With a .inc file, you see all of it in plain text, which means that it might be easier to find security holes in the application and exploit them. Now there's still a way to have a .inc file, but not have it be visible to the public, and that's by putting it in a directory that you don't allow public access to. And we'll demonstrate how to do that a little bit later on in this series.